Meanwhile, as we round out the week here, a potential teacher strike looms as Chicago public school students spend yet another day learning at home. WGN's Judy Wang has the latest. Negotiations are happening daily and it appears they will continue this weekend. K to 8 students are supposed to return to class Monday. In a message to parents, CPS suggests the union is to blame for the current situation. Talks continue as a possible strike looms. No one, our members, they want to teach. It is not if we reopen, it is how we reopen. In-person learning is canceled for a third straight day for special ed and pre-K students who returned to class earlier this month. Now, plans to bring back more than 60,000 grade school students may be in jeopardy. Chicago Teachers Union members defied CPS orders to report to their schools this week and continued teaching remotely. CTU says disagreements remain over health metrics used to guide decisions and a vaccination plan. It is seeking amnesty for teachers locked out of their online classrooms and more accommodations for staffers with at-risk relatives at home. What I would like to see is for CPS to give me and others a determination with the same energy that they used to kick me to the curb, as if my 15 years of service means nothing to them. I would also like to be reinstated. CPS says it has spent $100 million to make reopening safe. It argues remote learning isn't working for students from lower income families. In last night's message to parents, it says we are in agreement with the growing number of public health experts who are encouraging schools to reopen, including Dr. Fauci. We will continue to work tirelessly to reach an agreement. Thank you for your patience. When asked during a Facebook Q&A session why the city cannot vaccinate teachers first, the city's health commissioner said that would take five weeks too long for other essential workers to have to wait. That would give us five weeks of vaccinating people who frankly, although they are critical for, for you know, we know how important schools are, that's why they're in 1B, we wouldn't be actually vaccinating the people that will get us past COVID as a city. CTU says if teachers get locked out of their online classrooms during this phase, then teachers could go on a unfair labor practice strike. The last teacher's strike was just 15 months ago, keeping students out of class for 11 days. In the newsroom, Judy Wang, WGN News.